So we all know now that Apple has released Apple ProRes Log. But of course, we've been able to shoot ProRes Log for quite a while now using third-party apps, those primarily being Filmic Pro and Cinema P3. So one question I keep getting is how does Apple Log compare to Filmic Pro Log? Let's find out. I've been shooting ProRes Log on an iPhone since the 13 Pro, and so going on two plus years now, and I've gotten really good results using it. But now that Apple has released Log, a lot more people are taking interest in it because you don't have to use a third-party app. You can shoot that in the native app. But beyond that difference, what really sets them apart? Now here's some test footage I did, and this is not anything exciting. This is just a couple different scenarios. And the first one is me inside a dimly lit room. And I've got the white balance locked to 5600. So with Filmic Pro Log, the image will often look much brighter before you color correct it, before you add a LUT. And the idea behind Log, of course, is to preserve image detail and get the most dynamic range out of the sensor that you can. Now here it is with the correction LUT. And so this is coming back down to where I was imagining it when I shot it, but it's still not quite there. So from there, I did color grading. Now this is what it looked more like to my eye when I was shooting the shot. Remember, Filmic Pro Log is using computational imaging from Apple, and they can't bypass that. And that's a main point to remember. Now here's Apple Log, and I used the Blackmagic app so I could lock the white balance, again at 5600 Kelvin. So if you ever shot Log on a traditional camera, you'll instantly see that this Log looks like a traditional camera's Log, which of course is a good thing. And when you put the correction LUT on it, it instantly looks very similar to how I saw it when I was shooting. And depending on what you're doing, you might not need to color correct any further from there. But in this situation, I wanted to because I wanted it to be a little bit warmer. And so then here is the color graded version of that shot. Now we'll compare the two shots, Filmic Pro Log versus Apple Log. And of course you can see right away, they look very different. But one thing I want you to really pay attention to is my shirt and even my skin. The Filmic Pro Log is much sharper. And that's because again, they can't bypass Apple's built-in computational imaging and processing. And so you're getting that dynamic tone mapping and sharpening in the Filmic Pro Log. You're not getting it in the Apple Log. They have finally stripped that away or reduced it considerably. And that alone right there makes shooting Apple Log amazing. Okay, now test number two here, Filmic Pro up first. And this time I'm shooting outside. And again, 5600 white balance. Now I'm sitting underneath an umbrella, and so I'm in the shade and the background is bright sun. Now here it is with the LUT applied, the Rec. 709 LUT, you can see how dark I am because I was exposing for the highlights or the bright part of the image, which is a good practice to do regardless of the camera, but in particular when shooting on a phone. And the nice thing about shooting log is then I can color grade and bring myself up underneath the actual umbrella to look good as it compares to the background. And then you get a pretty even shot. That's where shooting log or having a camera that has higher dynamic range can come in real handy so the background's just not totally blown out. Now here's Apple Log, and here I am using the native camera app. And this is take one, I did two takes and I'll explain why in a second. For this first shot, I exposed on the background. And now the native camera app, you have really no control and that is a big downside. And so by exposing on the background, then I was really underexposed when I applied the LUT. I could still bring it up though, and it looks pretty good, although I feel like I look a little bit muddy. And so it's not the best looking image. The contrast feels a little funky. And so because of that, I shot it again. And I did a take two. Now in take two, I averaged the two. So I exposed for the shadows, but also didn't let the background go overexposed. And so the background gets a little bit hot when I apply the LUT but then I look pretty good as far as the exposure, et cetera. But then when I do the grade, I am able to bring the background down and bring myself up to again, make a nice overall image. Now we'll compare these two. I'm just comparing the second take of the native camera app. Log V3 on the left, Apple on the right. Again, Apple looks more like a traditional camera when it comes to the log aspect. Remember, the Log V3 Plus is using computational imaging, so you actually probably get better dynamic range with it, but then you also have the sharpening and the noise reduction and stuff that goes into it that makes the image look a little bit funky. The Apple Log one looks more like a traditional camera would. And now for the geeky stuff, I just shot some charts just to show it. 
5600 white balance was locked. Again, Filament Pro, this is the log. And then here it is with a color grade. And if you notice again, look at the text here. The text is actually really sharp looking, over sharp. That's because you're getting that computational imaging, all that processing. Apple Log, I use the Black Magic app. And again, it looks much softer in a good way. This is a traditional log image. And then if you notice the text itself almost looks kind of soft, but not soft in a bad way. It's a pleasing softness, which again, when you're doing something, especially more cinematic, that's what you want. And then I did the same thing with the native camera app, but it's an auto white balance. But fortunately I was using 5,600 balance lights. And so it matched pretty well to the black magic app. Again, the image is a little bit softer in a good way. And the colors though look really good. So if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, I would only shoot Apple Log now. I wouldn't shoot Filmic Pro Log or Cinema P3 Log, except if you want to do it in HEVC, because you can't do that in the native app. You can only shoot ProRes HQ. Now in the Blackmagic app, you can choose HEVC or H.264 and shoot Apple Log. But in the native app, you get ProRes HQ only, and those files are huge. That's another thing nice about the Blackmagic app. You can choose different flavors of ProRes. And the other reason, of course, you would use Filmic Pro or Cinema P3 is if you don't have an iPhone 15, which is probably a lot of you watching this video. So that's a great option to have for people with previous generation phones. My hunch is over time, Filmic Pro and Cinema P3 will probably sunset their versions, especially for ProRes. They'll keep it around for HEVC, but they'll be adding Apple Log to their apps very soon if they haven't already by the time you watch this video because the codec is just too good and mainly it takes away all the computational imaging. You get a much more traditional log image, even though you're shooting with a phone and a small sensor, the overall dynamic range and look and feel of the footage can match in very nicely with a traditional camera, or of course be its own standalone camera. Oh, and by the way, I do offer LUTs for Filmic Pro Log V3, and now I have LUTs for Apple ProRes Log. I use them in this video, and if you're interested in those, please check the link in the description. Thanks for watching. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.